Welcome back to WP EasyCart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to create subscriptions or recurring products in EasyCart. Uh, this is one of the more popular features uh, that our software offers. And it's important to make uh, some definition clarifications right at the beginning here. Uh, subscriptions or recurring products are products that you want to have users automatically build every week, every month, or once a year uh, their credit card. And a lot of people confuse subscriptions or recurring payments with membership products. Uh, membership areas are a little bit different than subscription products. Membership areas can be regular products or they can be recurring products uh, in EasyCart. So let's take a look at just subscriptions. You want somebody to come and purchase something. You want them to be billed automatically in a time period. And so it's very easy to set up. Um, the first thing we have to look at though is our payment gateway. So let's take a look at settings and payments and you have to use the Stripe payment gateway here. Uh, we know that Square and PayPal and other gateways offer subscriptions but EasyCart is heavily integrated with Stripe because they have the most options uh, available. They have the ability to have coupons be applied to subscriptions, they have different time frames that we can choose from, uh, they have the ability to prorate as well as upgrade and downgrade within a subscription system. So it's much more than just, hey, bill this user you know, once a month. Uh, a lot of people want to customize how this works, and Stripe offers that ability. So you must have uh, Stripe turned on for this to work. Uh, and let's take a look at Stripe uh, real quickly so you understand how it works. When you create a product in EasyCart, and you designate it as a subscription what it's doing is it's creating it over on Stripe and it's setting it up per month per year uh, based on your requirements and then as people purchase it they get attached to the membership and Stripe will do the billing every week or every month or, or once a year for you and it will charge the users card so it's security at its best. We don't store credit card information on your website. We're making that go to Stripe so that they handle that billing and charging and credit card holding so that you don't have to be uh, as secure on your website. You're safe. And so it's important you understand how that works. And the other thing to keep in mind is on Stripe as you have a subscription maybe you get 200 users attached to it you can't just go in and change the price of a subscription maybe you have one that's $24 and now you want to make it you know $30 that would change the terms and conditions that all 200 people signed up for so Stripe does not allow you to go back in and change the price of the current subscription so that's an important thing to keep in mind as well. When you create these, you want to have the right price and have it connected to Stripe. Now let's jump over to products and let's just go ahead and create one. I'm just going to go ahead and, and use this pull down here. You can always do this later, but you can use this to set up some basics. I'm going to choose subscription product. going to say this is a subscription product test subtest one let's go ahead and just give it a manufacturer and I'm going to say this is thirty dollars so I'm going to go ahead and pick an image again subscriptions a lot of times you don't have an image so you might use a company logo or you know a, a create a image for your subscriptions and I'm going to go ahead and create this and edit it. And this is where you can go ahead and I'll give this uh, is my subscription description. Of course you can have a whole bunch of information here set up for your subscription. 
now again make sure your price is, is good make sure that's your base price that's what you want set uh, I'm gonna come down now and take a look at uh, well you can look at shipping of course subscriptions usually aren't shippable uh, packaging is usually set to zero some things that our little wizard does for you uh, but the bulk of it's gonna happen down here in the subscription options tab you can turn this on or off and when you turn this on this is where your product is going to get connected with Stripe. So we're going to set up some important variables here. Uh, first off is how often do you want to bill the user? Uh, do you want to bill them you know, each month or every two months? Uh, you can go on out to a certain time frame based on um, months. I'm going to go say I'm, you know, once a month I'm going to bill my user. Uh, now billing duration is how many times do you want to do that uh, zero would be unlimited but if you wanted to charge them for one year then you would put in 12 months if it's a two-year subscription per month you could do 24 here so it'll it'll do it uh, however many times you want to have happen uh, some people like to have trial days uh, so they might type in 30 here and it will go ahead and give the user 30 days before it starts the billing okay an initial fee I'm charging $30 but maybe I have a $5 initial fee uh, that will get charged on the first subscription and then the subsequent ones will always be the price of your item so initial fee that's another good option that Stripe offers now we also have down here allow multiple subscriptions uh, for example if you're a company where you want just a user to be able to subscribe one time to your company then you could uh, turn this off if you look at something like web hosting a user might go on and purchase five different web hostings so you do want to allow multiple subscriptions in that case so you can turn that on or off you can leave it on by default is fine uh, prorate the upgrade and downgrade now we have what's called stripe plans so let's say you're selling web hosting and you have a bronze a silver and a gold plan you can put those in a web hosting package or a plan and you can attach this to it and that's going to allow users to upgrade and downgrade within that plan and not to other elements so that's what that plan is and I can show you how to create that in a little bit uh, we also have a membership URL uh, for example if you have a subscription and then maybe you want to give that person uh, access to a specific area you can insert that URL here as well so essentially you just turn it on set up your interval and your duration and most of this you can leave uh, pretty much the same and we'll go ahead and update this and let's take a look at our store and so we've got this new subscription product here as a test I'm gonna jump over here to stripe real quick and just refresh on my products uh, you'll notice that as I create it you're gonna see various products show up here and this is because I am changing settings and stripe is building a product for me over here and so that's where you'll see it in your your stripe products just so you have an idea of what's happening so we've already communicated that to it it's created it and now you see it on your store now subscriptions are a sign up process don't confuse those with regular products where customers put them in a shopping cart when you click on this you'll see the details just like a normal product but a customer is going to have to sign up for that specific subscription because you're 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 going into a financially binding situation here so we want users to know I'm specifically signing up for this item to be billed over and over again so it's a little bit different checkout it's a basically a one-page form you can see here it's got billing information um, if you make a product shippable it will show a shipping address if you you make a product not shippable there will be no shipping address here okay customers can use coupon codes um, that is a nice feature in easy cart and I'm gonna go ahead and just 
sign up for this with a demo card. And we'll take a look at the administrative side to this. So right now it's basically attaching this user on Stripe to the, the subscription. And if I go view it, you can see my order just like a regular order. Users will see this extra little section over here, view subscription details. And this is where a user can also go in and change their card on file. Okay, they may have different billing address or a card. Uh, if they their card becomes expired, uh, for example, they'll get some email notices and they'll be required to come in here and change it. So we're trying to automate most of this system so that users can handle it. They'll be able to see their past orders. So every month they'll see their order and they can come in and view those as well as cancel their subscriptions. So the user has control over what they're doing within their account. Uh, if I just come to my account, you'll notice these are my items. Um, this is, you know, obviously the last order I placed. Um, but over here on the right hand side, they'll see manage subscriptions. And this takes them right back in there to where they can view the details of their subscription. Okay, and go view details within my account and I can always update that information so updating their card and canceling that's what users can do from their end now let's take a look at the order on your easy cart side uh, each recurring period it's just gonna come in as a standard order you can see it just came in here my thirty dollar membership uh, when you view it you're going to see a subscription ID right here as well as a link to view the subscription info other than that it looks like a standard order for the most part um, and over here under orders you're gonna see the ability to manage subscriptions and that's where this link takes you uh, so let's go take a look at that I've got a subscription started you can see whether or not the subscription for this user is active or if they've canceled it and if we edit it it's gonna give us a lot of read-only information uh, it's going to give us a lot of unique Stripe information here, how many times they've been billed, when they're going to be billed next, um, the, some of the customer information, the product that they're attached to. Again, these fields are read-only, but it does give you some good uh, information here uh, to see. And you're going to see right here at the top the orders stack as they keep uh, happening. Again, Stripe will process the order and then it will feed back to your system and you should see the next month the order. Uh, if you need to, you can come in here and you can actually switch products for the user. You can cancel their subscription as well. Um, for the most part, subscriptions, you really don't change the pricing though. Uh, if a user needs to uh, come into a new agreement with you uh, on a recurring payment, then it's best to cancel them send them the new link to the new product with new pricing and they can purchase that uh, that way you know you don't want a store owner who has access to something like changing a subscription that you're on uh, that wouldn't be fair if you could sit there and just up up the price to forty dollars without notifying them so that's the subscription manager again if you go back to your orders uh, and open up an order you'd be able to access that directly from here too Okay, it just takes you right into that user's subscription. So you have the ability as an administrator to cancel. This, the customer has the ability to also go in and update their billing and cancel their subscription. So there's a, there's a few other things we can talk about. One of them is coupons. Um, you can use coupons on subscriptions. We have another video on that marketing uh, section. Uh, and it can apply to them based on the first payment or maybe a several other payments so that's one way you can manipulate price um, but for the most part that's it um, we've walked through all the basics on how to create the subscription how to make sure you're connected to Stripe and also how to manage it on the back end uh, in the administrator so very very seamless process it's very automated uh, you shouldn't really have to interact much with the user as they they work so uh, next we're going to take a look at membership areas uh, membership areas is going to be how you create content that's locked down 
Uh, again, EasyCart is a great tool to use because you can sell downloads, memberships, subscriptions, gift cards, donations. Um, we can sell a lot of things with this product. So look out, look for a video series uh, on this, on creating custom products if you have any questions. And we'll see you in the next video.